In my previous video, I broke my quad's thigh bone. It was made of 50% infill ABS. The simplest improvement was to print the part with 95% infill. I wanted to make the part even stronger, so I tried a technique that is used in concrete construction, which is pre-tensioning and compression. The plastic has opposing spiral grooves. The spirals stop the cables from breaking through the layer lines. I started with low stretch braided fishing line, but it turned out to be too stretchy. So 0.7mm nylon coated 7 stranded tracer fishing line was used. It was then twisted on a pin to tighten the cable. For my quad to walk, I only need about 5 kilograms of static load at the knee, which is 12 centimeters from the hip. My first test was to try and break the 90% infill part. I put the part on my test jig and used the drill to turn the input shaft to the cycloidal gearbox. Everything was fine up to about 30 kilos of load but pushing it to 40 kilos, I broke the inner cycloidal gears and bent the six silver steel inner pins. I will have to come up with a new jig to test the compression part. Maybe remove the cycloidal section. Any ideas, please let me know. Right now, I'm happy with the 95% infill part and will continue making quad based around this only 3D printed part.